Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Rocky Mountain Farms. This map can be found over at PCSG and uh, let me read you a little bit of the description. It says, Welcome to Rocky Mountain Farms, located in the Great Rocky Mountains, USA, just south of the Canadian border. You have been bestowed with a selection of land in an area of the mountainous countryside, totally cut off from the outside world except by helicopter transport. Land is rugged, but beautiful. The farming here is difficult as the growing season is short and the winters are harsh. There will be plenty here to do year round. So let's go ahead and jump on in here. I encourage you to go read the rest of the description. It is a very long and very detailed description that gives you plenty of information about the map itself. Also, if you happen to have the Coon and Modern Classics pack, uh, good for you because some of the starting equipment, which we'll see here momentarily, uh, is going to include items from both Coon and Modern Classics DLCs. I'm going to go ahead and leave those checked, and uh, we're going to go ahead and the farming tablet stuff in here. Take some of these other things out. Leave seasons checked for the moment uh, because we're going to uh, show off the custom geo here. And then we're going to roll out, roll back, we'll take seasons out, and then get on with the rest of our program. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the log as it loads up. We've got our compost. Um, so we've got a compost master in the log or on the map got the uh, variable fuel prices here We've got several factory scripts loading up We've got chop straw on the map uh, so including season support the map does fully support chop straw so let's go ahead and hop on in here so uh, yeah it's okay so first thing you notice if we play with spring here or with seasons we start out with a fair bit of snow. Look at that. Large, large heap of snow. First moment we come into the map. Let's go ahead and take a look at the season's um, geo. So you can see what we got going on here. So we have one transition to plant wheat, barley, and canola. Don't get it done by the, uh, by the end of late spring. Well, you're done for the year as far as those crops are concerned. Also have to get up to 41 degree ground temp in order to to make that happen. There is no sunflowers on the map if you play with the in-game geo, and soybeans and corn. You have one transition, and that is early summer. Get those in the ground, and I can tell you, you may never get to 50 degree ground temp um, before the end of early summer. So you may not have an opportunity some years to put corn or soybeans in the ground. Again, very short planting window for potatoes and sugar beets. Uh, interesting, a short growing season for grass. Uh, so look, grass growing season is from early summer till the end of middle autumn. At that point, grass is done. So that is a very, very interesting and very short time period. Typically, we see, obviously, grass from um, mid Oh, the end of late, sorry, the end of early spring all the way through until the end of late autumn. But uh, we have a shorter growing season here for our grass. With that, we're going to go ahead and back on out of the video. And I'll be right back here in the same spot without seasons. All right, here we are back, um, hopefully in about the same starting spot, but uh, without seasons. So let's take a look at the map itself. So as you can see, we've got a fair bit of the map is covered in mountainous area in rocks. We have very few grass areas on the map. In fact, there's only three grass fields. I'm sorry, four grass fields on the map. It's two, six, twenty, and fifteen. The rest of the fields are arable. There's a total of twenty-one fields. We have our standard crops on the map. Now, if you don't play with seasons, you can, of course, put sunflowers in. If you are playing with the built-in seasons geo, then uh, you're not going to be able to plant sunflowers at all. Uh, but sunflowers does have this little small field seven tucked away here in this uh, rocky area. It's planted with sunflowers. Start play without 
seasons. Start by owning all the fields. Uh, that is basically because we're up here in a mountainous area where we're pretty much by ourselves. Uh, there aren't any other farmers to uh, to contend with up here in this area. So we do this video on hard mode, and even on hard mode, we start out with a fair bit of crop in our silo systems. Also have two cell points, granary A and granary B, as well as several cell points for other products that we can manufacture. One cell point for wool, cell point for slurry, and a no cell point for wood chips. And that is because wood chips are assumed to be going into your compost master if you're making those. Also see there's no cell point for silage or loose hay straw or grass. Again, it's assumed that if you are doing this, then you're going to be putting this stuff in the compost master. Here we go. We have a cell point for barrels or board wood and for some roots we can manufacture. Also make pallets. And we have cardboard here. And then we have a couple vegetables. We have um, cucumbers and tomatoes that we make, have a cell point, and then we have a cell point for compost, of course. Start out with a fair bit of equipment. Um, all of it is owned by us, all of it is new. And uh, let's go ahead and take out a little bit of a loan so we can go around and buy up some animals. And we actually start out with 15 of each animal type. So we start out with 15 sheep, 15 pigs, and 15 cows. And you will notice that the um, sheep and cows already have grass in the trough. And that is because this map does have graze mod support. And uh, we also start out with water in all three animal troughs. If you are playing with seasons, be aware that you do need to make sure your animals have food by the end of the first day. Or they will start to die off. So the graze mod will not have grass in the sheep or cow trough until grass can be grown and harvested. So with the geo, as I showed earlier, you're not going to have grass in the troughs until early summertime. So all of spring and all of winter, and in fact, part of autumn, because it said that we couldn't mow grass after, uh, what, the end of mid-autumn? So from late autumn on, you're going to have to uh, feed your sheep uh, something other than grass. And from the entirety of spring, uh, you're going to have to feed your sheep something grass. Our silo has an interesting capacity of 586,772 liters. That is because that's the basically the volume within the silo has been measured. And that is the realistic volume in liters that the silo will be able to store. There are gold nuggets on the map. So if you are interested in doing the nugget hunt, the nugget challenge, uh, well, you can do that here. Our nuggets. Let's go ahead and take a look at that starting equipment. Start out with two tractors from the base game, a Herleman and an 8340. And then uh, if we scroll over here, we'll see that we actually also have uh, the Massey Ferguson 39, 390T from Modern Classics uh, in the base equipment. We also have from the Modern Classics the TX34 New Holland Harvester and Grain Header from Modern Classics. Also from Modern Classics, we have the Amazon D830 Cedar, the Lemkin 8260 Cultivator, then from the Coon Pack, we have the Coon DC401 Culti Plow. And then let's go back here to the base equipment, including the two base tractors. We have front loader arms, bucket, and a bale spike. We've got the 1660 Harvester and Grain Header. We have a Farm Tech Tipper, Coon Cultivator, and Plow. Plus the Great Plains Cedar and a Fertilized Spreader or Pickup Truck. That is the starting equipment. Go ahead and piece up our Jeep that we're going to use to drive around in. Let's see here. Where's the shop? So here's the shop.
Go ahead and hit reset and see what happens to the Jeep. Reset point is behind the shop. Equipment spawns here in the front of the shop. In fact, that's where all of your equipment is at the start. And uh, the Jeep starts here at the back. See where our spawn point is right here. Main sheep and cow farm is just over the hill. And then the pig farm is way down here to the south. Let's go here and just take a look at the sheep and cow farm from above. Then um, get on the tour. Here we have the sheep and cow farm. There. Let's go ahead and... So here we are, down here at the shop. And like I said, all of your equipment starts right here, all lined up, nice and pretty-like. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the production on the map, because there is a fair bit of production. And to do that, I'm going to use the farming tablet and buy up these apps. Something to look at. So of course we have our anim our animal status. We have our cows, pigs, sheep, and chickens. Uh, this map also includes the enhanced chicken pack, so we can either grow chickens or we can grow or basically have them lay eggs. There are no bunker silos on the map. We're not going to be doing any loose silage. There are several storage house facilities on the map. These are the square bale storage as well as the boardwood storage and the barn storage for our square and round bales. Then for the chickens, we have little HD bale storage. So we have a square stack of straw. This is over at our um, silo, farm silo. I'll show you guys that. We have a square hay bale stack over by the um, sheep and cows. And you can see we start with 44 hay bales at the beginning. We have board storage, which is across the street from where we are now. We have a square barn bale storage, which is again across the street from now, where we are now. And the square barn holds straw or hay bales. We have a round bale barn, which is again across the street from where we are, that holds silage, straw, and hay bales. And then we have the HD bales uh, storage, which is over at the chicken house. And uh, we start out with 48 straw HD bales from the start. Let's take a look at the uh, silos. There are about nine silos on the map. Our tents, nine or eight silos on the map to begin with. Uh, some of them hold only a single crop. You see right here, this particular silo holds just soybeans. And it holds 308,000 liters of soybeans. We have a two wood chip silos. One is, this is where we are right here. One's across the street in our production area. Holds 400,000 liters. We have a silo up here that holds just corn. 140,000 liters. Then we have a seed. Now this is showing a silo, but this is a seed fill point. Where you can fill your cedar with seed. We have a pig food silo for buying bulk pig food, and the pig food is a dollar per liter. This is a very, very economical way of feeding your pigs early on is to use pig food. We have barley and sunflowers, so there are two grain bins right here. They hold either barley or sunflowers. There's one that holds each, or there's one that holds barley, one that holds sunflowers. And combined, they have a capacity of 1.3 million liters. We have the bulk cell point for fertilizer up here. Wheat, silo down here that only stores wheat, 519,000 liters. Silo over here by the pigs that only holds canola, 251,000 liters. And we have another silo over here that holds wood chips. And that is because this field right here, this L-shaped field, is planted in poplar to start. And then we have our traditional farm silo, which is way over here, uh, which is actually up above the main um, sheep and cow farm. And you can see it holds 
our standard crops, wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, and corn. And we start out with some of each of those here in the silo. And that's where we have our 586,000 liter storage. Let's go ahead and continue on and uh, talk about the factories that are here on the map. Uh, so we have a fermenting silo here up here at the cow farm that obviously turns chaff or grass into silage. We've got a zero fabric. What's, what do you? Okay, this uh, particular factory uh, produces board pallets or no empty pallets, board pallets and wood chips and barrels. So foss is barrels. Then it takes fuels and logs. So it takes wood chips and logs to operate. We'll show you that here in a little bit. We have one of our greenhouses here. This particular greenhouse makes strawberries and requires manure, cardboard, water, and pallets. We've got another greenhouse that makes raspberries. Again, it takes manure, cardboard, water, and pallets. And then we have another greenhouse that does red currants. We've got another greenhouse that does, um, I'm sorry, this is storage. We have a strawberry storage, raspberry storage, and red currant storage. We have a factory that makes just wood chips and pallets. So it takes logs and produces wood chips and pallets. Of course, you can use the wood chips over at the other facility. We have the carton factory, which makes cardboard. It takes wood chips and empty pallets and makes pallets of cardboard. We have the cucumber greenhouse, which takes manure, water, and fertilizer. Now, all the greenhouses will also take compost, including manure. So wherever it says manure for the greenhouse, it includes compost. We have a tomato greenhouse that, again, takes manure, fertilizer, and water. This is solid fertilizer. We have a soy milk facility that uh, takes soybeans, water, and fuel, and makes pig food, liquid slurry, and milk. Then we have our compost master. Oops. Compost master uh, basically takes fuel, diesel fuel, and waste material. So waste could be hay, straw, grass, um, silage, newer, wood chips, um, any number of things you can go into there. And uh, put uh, sugar beets or potatoes in there. And it makes compost, which you can use either in your greenhouses, you can put on your fields, or you can sell it in bulk. Let's go ahead and uh, run on over here and just check out some of this production stuff. Right over here, we have a, this is a sell point for milk. So the milk stop milk sale mod is included in the map. So if you do uh, have cows or you maintain the cows that come with the map, Gonna have to transport your own milk and uh, you're gonna have to come here to sell it over here we have the animal trigger to purchase our animals if we wish to come around here pick them up and take them to the um, to the farms here we have those three storage buildings for strawberries raspberries and red currants this is the output so this is where you would pull pallets out of storage Around the corner here is where you would put your pallets into storage. These only accept one item. So if you try to put raspberries, let's say, in this building, this building may be the one that takes strawberries. So if it doesn't go in, then just try a different building. Uh, basically, as you get close to this trigger, the, uh, the stuff will just pop and just disappear. Be basically placed into storage. Does it just get eaten by the uh, storehouse? then it doesn't get accepted at that particular storehouse. You're just going to need to move on to another one. Here we have our, I believe this is the, um, this is the tomato greenhouse. Not, not sure 100%, but uh, this is where you put your water. 
put your solid fertilizer. This is where you can put either compost or manure. Let's see here. Do you take? Or you are our tomato warehouse. So uh, you can go in here and you can see the plants grow. And then the tomato pallets will spawn right here. Then over here, here's the greenhouse for uh, cucumbers. It's one of the nuggets. And same principle, compost or manure, solid fertilizer, and liquid fertilizer. Now, I do say when you are trying to fill these, you need to come this direction to fill these. Back up this way. Back up this way. Back up basically this way reason is if you just pull in here to the side you're going to be crossing multiple triggers and the, the game doesn't like that so in the big greenhouse here we have smaller greenhouses for our roots this is where you're going to bring your pallets where you're going to bring your cardboard all these three are the same so we're only going to go over one bring your water here and your compost or manure Put it in there, and then you're going to get your product um, right here on these wooden slats. That's where the pallet will spawn. Said all three of those are the same, except they just produce different fruits. Now over here is where we have our production facility for our cardboard. So we take wood chips and empty pallets, and we produce cartons of cardboard, basically pallets of cardboard. This is where we put our pallets. Cardboard will spawn here, and this is where we're going to dump our wood chips to uh, to produce boxes of cardboard. Around the corner here, we have a spawn point for pallets. So this is where our empty pallets will spawn. They're making pallets, and they take wood chips, or they take logs. I'm sorry. So we put our logs around the corner. I'll show you guys where that, they go here momentarily. So they make logs and wood chips and pallets. Pallet spawn point is back there. This is where we provide logs into the facility. And this is where we get wood chips out of the facility. We can take wood chips straight out of here and put them over there if we want. Let's take them straight out of here and put them into storage right there. Um, or we can take them straight out of here and put them into the next facility, which is behind us, for production. This particular production facility makes empty pallets as well as barrels and board wood. Okay. Let's go around the corner here. So this building and this building are tied together. Early on, it was a little difficult for me to realize that, but uh, this is where you're going to put your wood chips uh, with respect to your board wood factory that also makes barrels and empty pallets. So wood chips back there, logs go here, then your production facility will start making empty pallets, pallets of barrels, and board wood. And the board wood spawns here. Of course, I already showed you where the pallets and the barrels spawn. As this is as this is running, you'll get a pile of wood chips that shows up here. You can just take these wood chips and take them right over there and put them right back into the facility. Or take them around the corner and put them into there. Or take them over here and just put them in this wood chip storage facility. Put your tip in. And here is your tip out to get wood chips out. There's lots of uh, buildings around this particular facility to um, store your equipment and whatnot. And I have to say that uh, lots, of, lots of buildings in the corners have nuggets. Go ahead and check on most of these buildings to see uh, where the nuggets might be. So here is the soy milk facility. 
And if you're not familiar with the soy milk facility, what you do is you bring in soybeans right there. Then you also need to bring water and fuel. Around the back of the building is the fuel delivery point. This is where you're going to bring your fuel. Then around the front of the building is where you're going to deliver your water right to here. Then as outputs are generated, you get pig food out of the spout, you get slurry out of milk up, and you'll get milk out of this tank right here. Do note that these doors are on timers and they will open and close at specific times of the day. Look at the info screen. See that uh, for inputs, the building will accept inputs between midnight and noon. After 12 o'clock p.m., the doors close. And you can't put anything else into the facility until after until midnight. From 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., get product out of this facility. Come by at 6 a.m., the doors will be closed. 7.01 p.m., the doors will close. And you're done until tomorrow. It's an interesting uh, aspect of the map. Got a nice waterfall over here. And uh, if we do roll up here with our trailer, can back up, can back up to this area and pull water out for free. Uh, or we can pull water out of this area. Now this water is not free. This water costs money. Just back up there to uh, to that area though. It is free. Go ahead and go around here and I'll show you where the board storage is and the bale barns. So here's where we have the board storage. So after you've made your pallets of board wood um, from around the corner there, you'll bring it over here and you can just store them. So this particular facility will hold 27 pallets of board wood if you're putting to wait till you get a good price. Here you have your square building, square bale storage. Just bring your bales up to here and they'll just auto spawn into the building. Come up here, you hit R. I'll bring up the menu and you pick straw bales or hay bales. And the same with our round storage. Take silage bales, straw bales, or hay bales. Come up here and now you can pick from silage, straw, or hay bales to out. Vehicle customization shop trigger down here. And then we have fuel scattered around the map are um, fuel fuel pumps. This particular fuel pump has some diesel fuel in it already. See how much according to the screen. This tank has 5,000 liters of diesel fuel already included in it. We're going to find some other tanks around the map that do or don't have fuel. Depending on the, depending on the pump. Another great big building. Lots of stuff down here to store things in. Uh, keep your vehicles out of you know, harsh weather. Let's go ahead and uh, come on back to the shop and check out that facility. And we have all of our equipment lined up there. Big old buildings here to uh, to store whatever you want to uh, store in. There is a fairly limited trees on the map, so if you are doing forestry, it is advised to uh, to go ahead and replant your trees because you can run out pretty quick not careful so inside here we have our customize and repair trigger it's going to be basically in this bay here then around the side here we have the trigger uh, the shop trigger to buy 
So I need the shop. Learn to win your nugget hunt. Make sure you open up all these doors. So uh, there might be might be something special hidden. Let's go ahead and get back in or get get into our Jeep and start exploring the map itself. All kinds of silo. Okay. So. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, come up here and make a right and head on up to the pig area. This map has lots of small fields. I think the biggest field might be like three and a half hectares size the smallest field about a quarter of a hectare 0.24 i think so here we are at the pig farm let's go ahead and hop on out here so this is one of our silos that only holds one particular type of grain now this one holds just canola and i should mention I kind of forgot to mention at the start of the video that uh, in order to fill these silos, you need the um, Silo King. I don't know the, the um, something King. Yeah, what it is called now. Anyway, I'll leave a link to the uh, the mod in the description, and you'll need a Sandusk auger to uh, pull out from these bins. So this particular meridian bin is a uh, unique on the map. It holds canola. You can see the amount it holds. But in order to get out, you have to put your uh, Sandusk auger right here under the bottom. And to fill, you've got to put the uh, this the auger up the up there at the top. Also put a link uh, to the uh, video that I did on basically how to use those augers also in the description have lots of uh, nice storage here at the pig farm and now this particular fuel does not hold fuel does not have diesel fuel in it currently but you can bring diesel fuel up here and fill so you can either use the in-game fuel tank to do that this one to bring this one up here to, uh, to put fuel into these tanks or if you have the Cote Universal trailer a uh, universal pack you can use the shell fuel trailer in that to uh, come up here and fill up these tanks storage here and then we have our pigs in here and this is where we're going to buy more pigs, should we wish to. Go around the back here. We have our manure, but our manure actually piles up inside. We're going to have to go in here and clean it out. Here we have the straw trigger. And our manure is going to pile up in here. I have to clean it out. So have in here our animal trough and our water trough. On the map, we have the Tech Farm uh, water tr enhanced or water trough mod. We can come in here and basically fill our water troughs right there from the valves. Of course, these are on the inside because we have such brutal winters here on the map. We're going to need to uh, keep our pigs inside a decent portion of the year and to that extent really cool heater up here for our pigs all right let's go ahead and make our way around the map we're going to go into a um, 
counterclockwise rotation. Here we have one of the um, grass fields on the map. So if you see this particular grass texture, this is the mobile grass. There are other grass textures on the map that I'll point out that are obviously not mobile grasses. Down here we have another bin, and uh, this particular bin only holds wheat. This one holds 500,000 liters of wheat. You need the auger to fill the top, but uh, and then you'll bring your sandusk. I'll put it under here, pull grain out of that particular bin. Here we've got a, another nice vehicle storage building. Doors do operate. Again, keeping with the very cold winters, you're going to want to keep these doors shut best you can. That building. Go ahead and see if we can't um, climb the rock here. Let's show you the. Uh, this grass is not mowed. Okay, so if you see this type of grass uh, around, you're not going to be able to mow that. One of our forested areas there to the left. Field 12 to our right. We're going to go ahead and just come on down the hill here. This would be a very interesting map to attempt uh, MR on, given the, uh, given the types of hills that we've got here. I would definitely not want to do... Over here we've got a, uh, a little little farm set up going on. A little buildings here. Old John Deere Forager. More sheds over here. And everything's got doors so that you can shut it all up good and tight. And then here we have those silos that hold um, barley or this one. Barley or sunflowers. Okay. Now this bin will only take sunflowers. This bin will only take barley. Uh, have to come in here with your auger and uh, get it up there to the top up there in order to fill the bin and then you can come around here with your trailer and just come up underneath of it hit R to fill the trailer be any problem you'll see lots of these buildings have um, solar panels either on the ground beside them or in the case of this particular building solar panels on the uh, roof that is for self-sufficiency to power the heaters and other various things because up here in the uh, the upper regions of the mountains you're not going to have consistent access to power all the time because of storms and whatnot what oh, I should have should have taken out So over here by field 10 and 11, we've got another one of these fuel tanks uh, that we can bring and put fuel into. Another nice building for storage. 
Well, we got a nice house up here. Probably one of our hired helpers lives up here. Got a uh, customized trigger, and then we've got the uh, this cool black sheep modding. Can put stuff in both doors open up. So. And let's make our way around to uh, where most of the cell points on the map are. Look, been on around here. So, to give you a little frame of reference of where we are on the map, let's zoom out on our PDA a little bit. So, directly down, let's go down this way a little, turn back. So, field 21 here is the biggest field on the map as a frame of reference. There is all of our production and the vehicle shop store. There's that waterfall. Um, that we were uh, looking at earlier. Then here we have our compost master. And the compost master takes fuels and biodegradable material. You want to bring your fuel and pump it into there. And then bring the rest of your stuff, biomass, just to turn into compost. Dump it in here and it'll start running a compost. You'll need to dig your compost out here with a wheel loader or something that has a bucket. Alright, again, we have grass field 20 here on the left. The grass on our right is not mowable, so you can definitely see the two differences there in grass textures. So if you start to try to mow some grass and it doesn't mow, uh, it's probably the kind that you can't mow. Not all the grass that you can see on the map is mowable. So, this is where the bulk of our cell points are located. Actually, I think all of our cell points are than the milk cell point located up here in this particular area. Now let's go ahead and uh, drive on around here. We have Granary A, which I believe is this one. Okay. Then we have Granary B, which is beside it. Here. Then we have cell point for vegetables so we bring our cucumbers and our tomatoes and sell them there we have our bulk pig food silo we have a cell point around back here for slurry now I would suggest when you try to sell a slurry that you back straight up into it like this probably get better results that way. Around here we have bulk silos for seed and fertilizer, solid and liquid. Where we sell our board wood, pallets, and barrels. Our wool cell point is right here. Our compost cell point is right here. So in order to open our compost cell point, we actually have to come up here and click. That'll open up. And then we can back our trailer on into here. May have to back in here a fair little bit before we will get our um, dump trigger. We'll come up here and click it again, and we'll close up our lids. 
addition to all the cell points, we do have some nice um, big buildings in here for storage. Nice open sunroof type ceilings in order to let the light come in. Attempt to kind of heat up the, uh, the building as best as possible. We have our egg cell point. And we've got a pretty cool building in here that we can just kind of interact with. The bulk seed here. These are more of our traditional seed and fertilizer fill point triggers. Then over here we've got the cheaper ones that you buy it in bulk. The only thing I haven't showed you in this particular area, and that's what we're going to see on our way out, is where you buy your fuel. So there is no log sell point on the map to actually sell logs. That is because it's assumed that you're going to take the logs and make them into wood chips, and then put the wood chips either into production, put the logs into production, or basically help make compost with them. Here we have our bulk um, fuel depot. See right now we are getting charged one dollar and ten cents per liter to uh, to fill up our fuel. That's where we can come and buy our fuel. Notice that you do not get a refueling trigger when we come up upon this so we can't fuel our our tractors and trucks and everything directly from there we have to we can only fill a trailer we have another water point here now this does cost money that particular water point and all right so around the corner here we have our enhanced chicken house Chickens are inside this greenhouse because of the harsh winters. Uh, chickens would never survive the cold winters here on the map without uh, without being in a protective facility. Trying to buy or sell chickens, we can do that here. We can add more chickens to our coop, or we can sell off some chickens. Or we've got our water trough mod for our chickens. This is the straw trigger for our chickens. Then we have the food trigger right here the water trough straw now if we configure this we walk up here and we can hit M we can configure this to either lay eggs or breed okay if we have it set to lay eggs then uh, we can pay the neighbor boy to come by and pick the eggs up and put them in this basket for us then all we have to do is come up here and basically collect the eggs by clicking it's empty so we don't get the option. If we do pick breeding chickens, we will need to uh, give them food and, uh, and straw in order for them to breed. Over here we have the little HD bale storage. See right now we have 48 bales stored store 464 more no total bales we have storage for 412 more bales if we want walk up here we want to eject a bale okay bale minus pick that up toss it into the trigger there so you will need the uh the hd bale an hd bale baler in order to make the straw bales for this particular mod and I will leave a link in the description for that particular baler also. Have more storage. Plenty of vehicle and implement storage scattered around the map. In addition to this area having fields 8 and 9, also have this really cool um, mechanical building, mechanical shed. We also have another 
um, fuel tank. Now this fuel tank has 500 liters of fuel in it from the start, so we can uh, fuel up our implements right away. That's where we're going to pull our fuel out. We have to come in here in order to put our fuel into the tank. Then we also have a customized uh, pair maintenance trigger in here. The map does have dynamic mud uh, enabled, so if you play with seasons, uh, depending on the ground moisture, uh, will depend on how much mud you have. If you play without seasons, uh, if it is raining or just after it's rained, uh, you're going to have mud. Uh, in normal situations, you won't. So this particular area can get quite muddy in the event of uh, of a wet crop condition. Without seasons, or depending on the ground moisture levels, uh, with playing with seasons, it can get quite muddy. Here. Field six on the right is grass. Field five on the left is wheat or barley. I don't remember which. Now we're coming up here to our main silo system on the map. Now this is a traditional silo uh, that we just dump grain into. Open the doors. And once the gate's open, we can bring our tri our uh, tipper through here and dump to our heart's content. And then around the corner here is where we're going to have our fill spout to get fuel out of the, uh, not fuel, but grain out of the silo. And over here, we've got a building with a little bit of a straw texture under it, or a hay texture. No, that's, sorry, that's straw. We come up here to this little area, we can uh, pull up the menu, and you can see this is where we store our square straw bales, if we wish to store them away. And then we have, once again, more implement storage in here. All right. Big radio dish here is uh, kind of showing you where we start the map. It's our helipad. That's where we start. That's your spawn point. Now we're making our way down to fields three and four. Four is on our left, little old field four. And nice size field three over here. We have another one of these bins. This particular bin holds corn. So again, need your auger to fill from the top. And then with this, you can just bring your trailer and fill out of the spout directly. Run around the side of this field here. We're going to go around the back into the sheep and cow farm. So field two is the largest. Whoa, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I did it. I did it there. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just jump up, run up here, and um, we only have this area down here to show off anyway. Here we are at the sheep area. So that's where we crashed. Let's run back over here. Orient ourselves. There's the Jeep right there where my little round circle is. I can't see it. Anyway, this is the driveway in. And here we have our fermentation silo. So this is where you put your grass or chaff. And uh, it will turn into silage. And you can get it out of here. building and then over here you have your slurry trigger for your cows you have your grass trough for your cows right here you have your farm tech 
for your sheep. Then around the corner, you have your farm tech for your cows. There. You have the grass trough for your cows right here. And your grass trough for your sheep right here. And then you have your wool spawn point. And then this is your embedded hay storage app. You start out with, uh, what is it, 40-some bales of hay. Let's see here, 44 bales of hay. Yep. And you just bring your trailer on in here and uh, put the hay bales in this general vicinity, and they will auto-load into this great stack. You've got your hay right close to where you need to feed it. straw trigger is over here so your straw trigger is right here for your cows and this is where the manure will pile up you have to come in here and clean that out yourself and then we do have the graze mod so you can see up here in the f1 menu that our sheep have 44,000 almost 45,000 liters of grass over here far enough we'll find the cows entry There we go, and our cows have 28,000 liters of grass here in the pasture for the graze mod. Uh, we can pull water directly out of here for free. Let's bring our trailer around here and dip it on in here. Now, again, we have the water trough mod, so we don't need to get water for our animals with a trailer. We do need water for the greenhouses, the production vicinity. where we're going to pull our milk out this uh, big tank is our milk storage tank and we have some more buildings again doors that all open everything another fuel tank that we will need to fill with fuel before we can uh, use anything And then we've got another big shed here. And again, I'd advise you to open up as many doors as you can in order to find uh, possibly something very, very, very good. Let's go ahead and just jump in our truck. And we're going to go around the back of the uh, store. We're going to basically come in the back way to field 16 and 17. Then that will close out our map video. Uh, let me know, guys, in the comments what you think of the map. Have you played it? Uh, have you followed the, uh, the the live stream series that I did on the map when I was uh, doing some play testing uh, in the pre-release version of this map? I know that uh, some of the folks that were watching it were very interested in... Uh, when it was going to be released they really liked it so let me know what you think about this map i think it's rather unique and uh and interesting so over here we have our other storage facility for wood chips garage here another fuel tank to uh, store fuel in Lots of areas to store equipment and whatnot. Up to here, got our customize and repair point in there. Then, you know, like I said, big field 16 is our poplar field. Plenty of wood chips to be had out of here. And field 17, if you play without season, starts with soybeans. This particular bin holds soybeans. And again, you're going to have to, from the top, fill from the top. Then you'll pull your beans out of the side here. 
Hey guys, that's going to conclude our tour of Rocky Mountain Farms. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider clicking the like button. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. We do map videos every Tuesday and Thursday, typically. And until next time, happy farming.